Have you heard anything about the $10,000 a month apartments in Detroit? Yeah, that's right, Detroit, Michigan has $10,000 apartments. In this video, I'll be breaking down a little bit about the development itself, as well as the history behind the location, and then also something that the city's doing for future endeavors that are gonna be taking place in the city, and I'll break down a little bit of both of them at the end. What's going on? For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Ed Butler. I'm a full-time realtor and I also make videos just like this one, giving you everything there is to know about Detroit and Metro Detroit. And if real estate is something you're looking to buy, sell, or invest with, feel free to reach out. All my information is down below and I love to have your back in your home buying or selling journey. And with that, let's hop into the video. All right, so you may have heard the name Joe Lewis, one of the most prominent boxers of the turn of the century area, world heavyweight champ at one point, who is from Detroit, Michigan. So in Detroit, we had a area or arena that was called Joe Lewis Arena. It was essentially located in the heart of downtown, pretty much right behind Cobo Hall or the former Cobo Hall, which used to house the North American International Auto Show for the last decades and brings tons of people to the city of Detroit. So it has right behind that, and then it's bordered by the Detroit River. So you got some amazing views coming out of those iconic steps. So Joe Lewis Arena opened in 1979. It was the home of the Detroit Red Wings. They moved there from Olympia Stadium where they used to play at and moved into this great venue that had red and white seats. So it really gave that effect of a red wave, so to speak. And also the Red Wings became a really, really good hockey team over those years. When in many stand Cups and pretty much they were the, the Lakers of the NHL in the 90s. Joe Lewis Arena actually had a 20,000 seat capacity, so they had tons of fans in there and it felt like everybody was super tight knit. And if you've ever been to a hockey game, it's one of the greatest atmospheres you can even ever imagine. So, fast forward all the years, everything was great up until it started to show some of its signs of age throughout the years. And you started to notice that it was outpaced and didn't have all the amenities other stadiums around the country had, right? So in 2017, the Detroit Red Wings moved from Joe Louis Arena into the new Little Seas Arena where they call home right now. And that just left Joe Lewis Arena vacant for a few years. They had concerts and things like that there, but it just really wasn't worth the squeeze at that point. So in 2020, they decided to demolish the entire thing and make way for this new expansive apartment complex that I'm gonna talk about. This is where the residences at Water Square enters. So during this phase back in 2020, they had grand plans of bringing this 25 story, 500 unit, apartment complex to life. And lo and behold, it's almost complete right now. They just opened up pre-applications for leasing uh, just, just August and it's almost done. So it's slated to be open February, 2024. So I mentioned that they have about 500 units in the building. Majority of them are made up of studio and one bedroom apartments. The studios are gonna start at about 500 square feet and then they're gonna start at $2,000 a month and go up. Then the one bedroom is gonna go all the way up to 1,500 square feet and they're gonna range only up to $4,800 a month. Those turned a few heads, but none more than the four penthouse units that are on the 25th floor on each of the corners that's going to be bringing in a whopping $9,000 to $10,000 a month, and they're already fully reserved. A couple of the amenities that's going to have, each unit is going to have floor to ceiling windows at least 10 feet tall that's going to either show you a view of the Detroit River or it's going to show you Detroit skyline. So this is pretty much what people are paying for beyond the upscale top shelf amenity that's going to be throughout the entire place, completely brand new high end finishes everywhere. And then you're going to have these amazing views from all your common areas like the, the decks, the balconies, even the pool. It's slated to have an all-season pool that's going to overlook the Detroit River. All in all, that's a super cool development, and it's not the only one that's slated for the area. 
There's also plans for the area for a 600 room convention style hotel that's gonna to connect to Huntington Place. That's what Cobo Hall is now called. So it's gonna to connect to Huntington Place where we have many conventions and things like that already and go off the back towards Cholo Serena or you know, the residences of Water Square and then build that whole thing out. So that's coming soon as well. So all in all, you'll be paying for that location in the heart of downtown, those breathtaking 10 foot views out the windows of each unit. But I forget to mention that the entire structure is gonna be made of glass on the outside. So pretty much from top to bottom, 25th floor all the way down the first floor, it's all gonna be made of grass. Here's some renditions right here. And as you can see, this place is breathtaking. Now moving along to something that's gonna be cool because it affects this area and other areas that are soon to be changing for the city of Detroit. The city of Detroit recently started planning a community benefits ordinance for these new projects that are gonna to come to the uh, Joe Louis Arena site and then as well as the new center area. So that new hotel is thought to be potentially earmarked for Marriott International, but we'll see who brings that one. So that project plus a project that is slated to come from the Henry Ford Health System, as well as Tom Gores, who owns the Detroit Pistons in partnership with Michigan State University. So they want to do a super big billion dollar project in the new center area that's going to bring a brand new hotel and then building out a huge infrastructure surrounding the hotel, you know, something for basketball, something with, you know, residential impact commercial and all this such. This plan is slated to be spent about $2.5 billion, when I believe about half of that budget is gonna be spent towards going towards the new hospital itself, making the Henry Ford Health System one of the premier hospitals in the entire country. Now, back to the CBO, or the Community Benefits Ordinance. So this is a thing that was voted in by lawmakers that requires that any project that's gonna be over $75 million and is receiving over a million dollars of public or city funding, they must form a community benefits ordinance, which this means is that they're gonna have about nine residents from local, you know, the local area that live and sleep and breathe and work in the area that they want these projects to be in. So they select nine of these people to build a council and they're gonna be able to fight and negotiate for community benefits to be included. So how do these new projects benefit the city that we live and work in? It's always a great thing to include the people because you wanna make sure that people are not left out of these big new you know, buildings and developments while they're footing the bill for it or part of it. Some of these things include you know, small business jobs, you know, making sure the environment is taken care of, and then also you know, small businesses or entrepreneurship that can benefit from these developments. That's the type of stuff that's negotiated by them. The most recent development that had CBO implications was the District Detroit that I talked about in this video over here. That one, that project is about $1.5 billion. So this project is gonna be much, much larger than that one. And that one's not even done yet. So, hey, this is not something that's brand new to the city, but it's something that once they start organizing it, you know some big things are about to happen. And this is just one of the couple developments that are coming to the city of Detroit or already here in the city of Detroit that are billions and billions of dollars being spent in the city, in its infrastructure, and having Detroit grow. If you wanna see more videos just like this one about things like this that are happening in the city of Detroit, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos I put out because I'll be making more and more documenting the developments that are happening in the city of Detroit in real time. And as always, if you need any help buying, selling, investing in real estate, feel free to give me a shout. I love to have your back in your home buying or selling journey. And with that, I'll catch you on the next one.